What's up YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be going over um, my thoughts on this Patriots game tonight. Um, going over some of the injuries, and I also watched some film. Um, I watched all the All-22s on the uh, Patriots game last week against the Eagles. Um, I mean, granted, this is a pretty familiar opponent at this point. So, I mean, not much really surprised me. Um, but I'll go over what I've seen on film as well. So, starting off with the Dolphins injuries, Kelvin Joseph is officially out. Uh, Teron Armstead is still listed as questionable, but he has had at least limited participation um, all week. Uh, I don't know if he'll play or not, but even if he doesn't, I think we're okay. Um, obviously, it'd be ideal if he could play. But honestly, if, if he's not healthy, I might rather start Kendall Lamb and let Teron Armstead have another week to rest. Uh, Kendall Lamb did a pretty good job last week, so, I mean, we'll see. Uh, Elijah Campbell is listed as questionable with his knee injury. Um, he had limited participation in practice all week, so we'll kind of see there. Um... But either way, I, I think our our safeties are, well, I, we really could use them, in fairness. Um, Javon Hall and Sean Elliott, Brandon Jones, that's, that's solid. But having Elijah Campbell would help. Um, but that is what that is. Julian Hill, I really don't care if he plays or not. Uh, he's had limited participation all week as well. But I think Durham Smythe and Tyler Croft are fine. Uh, obviously, I'd rather have him healthy than not. Um, Jalen Phillips, though, seems like he had some sort of a back issue during practice because he was fine for Wednesday and Thursday and then had limited participation Friday. Uh, so he's listed as questionable. I hope he's fine. We, we definitely can't afford to not have Jalen Phillips. Uh, that's for sure. But... Let's go into the Patriots injuries, and then I'll go over what I've seen on film for the Patriots. Uh, because they do have some weaknesses, I noticed, especially on their offense. Um, we'll get into that. So, they have a lot of injuries to their offensive line right now. Uh, Trent Brown is listed as questionable. Uh, he didn't, with a concussion... Uh, he's He hasn't practiced all week, so I assume he's probably not going to play. If he didn't participate in practice all week, I, I assume he's, he's not going to be playing today. That's generally the rule with concussions. Um, also, a backup guard, Saidi, I, I don't how to, I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. City, Sal, whatever. Uh, he's got a concussion as well, didn't participate in practice all week, so he's listed as questionable. Uh David Andrews should play. Um, I forget how to pronounce this guy's name. I remember, I remember it from the draft. Mike Unwenu, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he's listed as questionable. He had limited participation all week. Devontae Parker, he's always hurt. Devontae Parker's always got some kind of injury. I assume he'll play. He had limited participation all week, but that that I mean we we know that from uh, our own experiences with him. Uh, Cole Strange, he's had lim limited participation all week, so he's questionable. But even if they play, they're not 100%. Um, they have a very banged-up offensive line. Um, like I said, Trent Brown, I, I don't think he I don't think he's going to play. Uh, I mean, he could, but if he had no participation at all, all week with a concussion, I, I'm, I'm assuming he probably won't play. Um, so that would probably mean that Tyrone Wheatley Jr. is their starting left tackle. Um, Cole Strange, if he didn't play, it would be Antonio Maffi. Uh, they're fine at center. If Mike Anwenu and City Sal didn't play, it would be Jake Andrews at right guard. And then Calvin Anderson... Last week against the Eagles was already a liability at right tackle. Now, I do realize that he didn't have a full training camp. He really didn't have a training camp at all because he was dealing with injuries. But let me tell you, he was getting smoked, especially 
um, by their speedier edge rushers. He did a little bit better against Brandon Graham, but uh, yeah, it, it, it got pretty dicey for him. Um, if Jalen Phillips does play, I think Jalen Phillips is going to have a pretty damn good day against him. And then if they're going to be missing that many offensive linemen, they could be in trouble. Um, so I guess I'll get into their offense since I'm already kind of talking about it. Uh, the things I'm kind of worried about with the Patriots, they do throw a lot of screens, a lot of uh, a lot of horizontal stuff, but they aren't afraid to throw it deep by any means. Um, they do have an okay receiving core, but the thing I'm really scared of, just because of what the Dolphins' defense looked like last week, they have Ramondre Stevenson and Ezekiel Elliott, and what we really struggled against was runs up the middle. Uh, we weren't really getting push from our nose tackles, and our inside linebackers were getting themselves out of position a lot. And with Ramondre Stevenson and Ezekiel Elliott, they are prime for running it right up the gut on us all game long, if, unless we can stop it. And quite honestly, Bill Belichick is exactly the type of coach that would just keep on... I mean, I know he doesn't call the offensive plays, but still... Um, they're not going to be afraid to run it down our throat if, if we can't stop it. Let's just say that. Um, so there is that. Uh, I do think their returning game is pretty good with Ty Montgomery. And um, they've, they've got a, another one for punt return as well. Uh, he looked pretty good. They, they had some pretty big returns against Philly, so we'll have to kind of watch out for that too. Um, let's see. Uh, they do a lot more motion than they used to. I did I did notice that, uh, especially like Mike Isicki. They move him around a lot. They move their tight ends around a lot. But overall, they, they do a lot of pre-snap uh, movement to kind of help out Mac Jones. Um, so I did take notice of that. Now, their defense is fairly healthy, and I think their defense is the thing that is a little bit scarier. Um... I mean, we kind of know what the Patriots' defense is at this point. You know, it, it's it's sort of a 3-4, but not really. Uh, it's more of a multiple-style scheme. They've been running it for a long time. Um, most of the plays end up having a single high safety, but they will disguise that fact. Uh, they'll make it, a lot of times, look like they have two deep safeties, but one of them is going to drop, and it'll, it, they do a lot of cover three and man coverage with a single high. Um so look out for that. And also sometimes um, pre-snap they'll show, like let's say they'll have Kyle Duggar looking like he is going to be the single high safety. And it looks like Jabril Peppers is going to be in in the box. And then the second the play snaps, they will switch. And Kyle Duggar will move into the box and Jabril Peppers will go back. Um so they do move their guys around a lot. They move their corners around a lot too. Um, they'll, what I notice is they'll make a lot of plays look like it's going to be like a cover four, but it really is a cover three. Um, they are going to move one of their safeties to make it a cover three. Um, but that being said, they do mix in some cover two. Uh, they, they do a lot of man coverage. Um, but I, I also know that when they're doing man coverage, for the most part, they're usually blitzing. Um, and they do a good job of disguising who their blitzes are, who their blitzers are for the most part. Um, but on the um, third downs where they know you're going to be, where they know you have to throw, like if you're in a third and long situation, um, they will just do a cover zero and just go straight at you, which honestly I think Tua is perfect for. Uh, this defense is solid. It, it, it definitely is. It, it is enough to be a threat. I'm definitely not looking past the Patriots in any way. Um, they had a very good game against Philly. Um, now, granted, I don't think Philly has showed their best foot forward yet this year. Um, but I'm in no way looking past any opponent, let alone the Patriots. Um, but I will say I think our offense can definitely beat this team. Um, they're probably going to try to double up on Tyreek Hill. Uh, I still think Tyreek is probably going to get his <laughs> regardless. Um, but this should be a potentially really good game for Jalen Waddell, if that's going to be the case. Um, 
So I think it's going to be an interesting game. I'm confident that we can win this. Um, we just can't overlook the Patriots by any means. Uh, can't overlook any opponent, but especially not the Patriots. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.